Welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie and I upload videos related with handbags, travel, and lifestyle. If you are into this type of content, be sure to subscribe. Click that bell button so you will be the first one to get notified every time I upload a new video. And what beside me is my Speedy 25 bundle year in monogram. And I actually added the bag charm that I have got from Louis Vuitton uh, Christmas limited edition last year. So that is really cute. And I know they just recently released the Christmas collection for this year. Stay tuned for the next video Friday. Yeah, I will upload that Friday. It will be unboxing for that collection. I got two pieces for the limited edition for Christmas collection. So anyway, we will be doing, since we are traveling, I am here at Orange Beach, Alabama at the moment. I thought I would share with you what's inside on my Speedy 35B. And I have used this bag, it's the same content from what I got. I mean, the same items that I use throughout our Nashville trip. And I actually just added maybe a a couple things here i just didn't unpack it it's exactly bag i've used from our nashville trip if you haven't watched that vlog i will put the link below and for they stay here in orange beach i am using this bag so i thought i will share with you because i am bored this is more like a travel a business travel for my husband so i just tag along to see um orange beach alabama i never been here and this is my first time the conference is not gonna be done until five o'clock and i am quite bored inside the hotel so i thought i will do a video uh doing what's inside on my speedy 35 so keep on watching let's go let's go ahead and see what's inside so i think i'm gonna move this bag in front of you all so you guys can see while I am pulling the contents inside of my bag that way it won't be feel too weird when the bag is right beside me so you can really see I like when I'm doing or I'm doing or watching this type of video I call me nosy but I love watching what's inside on other people's purses so yes I like to be able to see when they take things out so this is very full as you can see it all filled up till the, the all the way it's quite heavy so when i carry this bag i carry uh by the strap not by the handle if i do carry by the handle when it's this heavy not for long i will do a carry by this hand, top handle but more likely i will carry it by the strap because i don't want to put too much pressure on the handle because as you can see it will tug so much of the canvas so yeah i just want to mention that and here we go it's very full it's amazing how much these things can fit so the first thing that we have and i i have mentioned this when i share the ready with me in the car so i always have like a 99 percent water with wipes I don't know why but i always have that and i just switch it either i buy a couple of them or switch it or take it in and out on different or move it to a different purse and then the next thing we have on top is my backup camera Mo nowadays i only vlog using my iphone but i also have my canon g7x just in case that I will need it or I feel like I want to switch from using my phone and I'd rather use this one if I want to save my chart uh, my battery uh, through my phone so I will always have this when we travel just in case and also the tripod that I'm using now the Manfrotto I always put it right on top because um, I'm using it right now so I can't really show you that obviously so the next thing that we have is my gucci glasses i actually got this one on sale at panama city beach so i i forgot now how much we got it but i know it was on sale for 30 percent off so 
and at that time i forgot my sunglasses it was so sunny it was so hot and you know when you squint too much your eyes because of the sun being too bright it gives you like a massive a severe headache so yeah that's what i got that and the next thing is this is actually the uh, dust bag for my lv built the belt but i use the belt on the way here and i put my charger this is the charger for the black one it's the charger for the samsung tablet and this one is the power bank and a phone charger and when i use the belt i just keep the dust bag to put the wire and then the next thing we have here is my makeup pouch you've probably seen this one if you have watched my get ready with me inside the car i this is my makeup pouch and i will just open it and show you the overview this is what the contents in there i have should i show you guys maybe so this is a hairbrush this is a blush on i'll do quickly eyebrow and then blush and a powder brush two um brow pencil and eyeliner powder uh lash curler and this is the lancome um kit for with the blush and shadow just quickly i'll show you mascara and a handful of lip products so i have different color from the bite lipstick the lancome the clinique and this blister um it's like a medicated lip balm this is very good it gives you that tingly feeling as well so that's my makeup pouch and then the next thing that we have is my planner from lily pulitzer and then the next one is my samsung tablet that's why i have the charger earlier that i have showed you and then the next thing i like to put my stuff on pouches as much as possible so it's easy to organize my bag and when i want things i know that it's in the same pouch so that's why i like to use pouches and this one is just for like your bathroom necessity like that you can spray on the toilet if you need to do some business and the lysol spray tissue again this is more like the bathroom so if i didn't want to bring the entire purse when we have to stop for bathroom break i can just take this pouch with me in the bathroom so we have the quick wipes the antibacterial wipes and then we have some girl stuff and a big bottle of hand sanitizer and that's that that's empty and so the next one that we have is let's see, this one so this is actually i just added so the entire thing what i brought with me to nashville as well but i added this um what? I forgot what is this one called. In in Filipino, it could like pamay pie or pai pai in Visaya. Um, I forgot the English word, but if I will, I will remember. I will do um search on Google. <laughs> I'll put it in the screen. But I got this one from one of our favorite restaurant, the Poland's Asian. The owner always give me something every Christmas. So this is one of them, like their gift giveaway for their um their regular customers so they give out this and they have a really amazing food that's why my husband and i always love it and i thought that i always want a pamay pai for when we went to um panama city beach because it's really hot and dry air outside and i thought this one would be useful here 
if it gets too hot which is i doubt it would be but i just like to be prepared because my husband get easily hot so i thought this one is perfect to bring with me here in orange beach and we have the last pouch for the this bigger bag is this one right here i have also unboxed this one a double unboxing so if you haven't watched that i will link it below so you all can watch it as well so this is just a big pouch oops and this one actually from lancome i will put the description or like the name of it because it's so hard to pronounce but let me tell you if you have a chance to go to a lancome or sephora or alta any place that have this lancome perfume try it out you are gonna love it i love it so much um this is one of my favorite not only because the bottle is so thin it's quite heavy don't get me wrong it's still a heavy glass but it's thin and it can fit in your smaller purse but the smell of it it's amazing it's so kind of like flowery girly sweet and it lasts a very long time but if you wear the clothes and then you have to wear it the next day because obviously you can recycle your clothes i wear mine like twice but before i wash it but you don't even have to spray it again because it stays a very long time and every time i wear this i always get compliments this is a really amazing smell it's it's amazing it's so good and so we have just medicine actually i recycled this this is from the gums that you can get actually this is more gums right here but the chewing gum but i recycled this and i thought it was a perfect travel size for dental floss cough drop candy we got different type of medicine advil thumbs and we have a cotton buds a dental floss a gum i'm telling you if you if you like to buy because i didn't know what to do after i finished the chewing gum the gums if i eat it all i didn't know what to do but it's just such a nice uh case so guess what i recycled them and it's a very handy because sometimes i can just move this one into a smaller bag and it's very helpful because sometimes my husband always asks me for dental floss or advil so i thought that one is useful again we have more you can, you can never get enough of girl stuff because you know it's better to be prepared you never know when it's gonna come and then we have this roller for your clothes i love that this is uh this is too small and it's just small that you can put it in, even in a smaller purse so i like that although it doesn't have much and then we have this mosquito bites i carry this because it seems like when we get mosquito bites it become like so itchy but it stays itchy for a long time and it just for some reason it spread out i don't know why it started to have tiny bumps around it so i like to have this especially a poison ivy oh i'm talking about the poison ivy because this one is good for insect bites poison ivy oak and soma mosquito bites sunburn minor cats and scrapes so this one i highly highly recommend my husband likes to cut the grass outside and he has a very bad um reaction to poison ivy so i carry this one with me because of my husband and sometimes um uh, fall season and spring season especially now because it's fall in america now i get rashes easily on my arm here and to prevent that i use that because i am allergic mostly since we moved to alabama i am allergic mostly to outdoor like grass leaves and yeah so that i'm telling you it's amazing and then i also have this cream for my eczema because i have eczema on this arm 
right here. Once again, it only gets really bad during uh, spring season and fall season. So it is. it just started fall season last month. So I'm trying to prevent having all rashes on my arm. And then I have this Nivea. I have shown this one to uh, get ready with me in the car. This is the second bottle. The other one is in my purse, my personal purse. And this one is the uh, the second bottle. I love this for my hands, face, and the arm. It's very creamy, so it's good if you have eczema or it's very dry skin. And then we have extra uh, makeup stuff here. We got this, let's see, the Smashbox, the shaping foundation, and the contour. So that's extra actually and then I have two extra brush and then two extra uh, lipstick and then we have the pen and then this is empty that's all we have what I love this pouch is the color inside is very pretty and I love that it's wipeable everything is wipeable and it's a very soft pouch and so it is empty now there's nothing oh actually this one right here so if you bought the speedy like old the old one doesn't have the zipper so which is i got the old one because i think i have this purse about 11 years now 10 11 years so it's quite a long time i have the air uh the airpods the i think this is the first generation the one that um it's not the noise canceling, I believe. I could be wrong, but yeah, that's the wireless one. And then this one, I just bought this one right here. My, one of my family, my husband family gave me this one of my birthday. And I actually just found this one the other day and I never really use it. So I thought I will bring it with me because lately I have been having to put my purse um on the floor and i did not like that at all or or if you are being seated on the table usually it's a two-seater and sometimes you can't really hang your purse uh on your chair so i thought oh, i bring it with me with this trip and see if i can use it but if not then oh well at least i have it with me and then that's it it's empty that's all i have so if you see this purple one is actually what i use as a shaper this is the attachment from my old purse that is a non-brand um purse so i just use it as the the bag shaper to the bottom so that way it won't sag and so yes i own this bag for a very long time and this is what started my love for louis vuitton this is my very first louis vuitton bag i will just tell you a story about this bag so when i saw mocha oson if you don't know her she was a former um a singer and dancer from i forgot the show but i know that when i saw her she they were traveling for a show somewhere in asia i think in japan or indonesia i can't remember fully but i that was the first time I saw this bag. And at that time, I didn't, I didn't really know much about Louis Vuitton. And it was maybe less than 100 bucks, less than $50 if you get the 35. So there's like 25, 30, and 35. So there was, I didn't know about the size, how big it is. I wanted this one as my everyday bag. And when I received it, it was I was so excited of course but over time I kind of wish that I got the speedy 30 because as for everyday bag this is quite big if you want to use it I, I still use it as an everyday bag when I first got it because I love it still I mean don't get me wrong but I just wish that I got the speedy 30 it would be perfect size and every day as a travel bag it kind of it's it kind of like in between it's not good as an everyday bag but it's also not quite as big as a travel bag if 
if you see what i'm saying is the size of speedy 45 i think that would be a perfect carry on weekend bag but as an everyday bag the speedy 30 would be the perfect size so the speedy 35 is quite in that between size so it's really you know it, it's up to you but if you look at the price not based on what you want to use it of course there's no brainer get the speedy 35 and that's what i did but if you're looking for an everyday bag i highly recommend just stick to 25 or the 30 but if you have a bag i would go for 45 to uh, like 55 to 65 but that's just my opinion because that's based of me using the bag but nonetheless i love this bag again as mentioned this is my very first bag and i have used this so much and that's what it all started my handbag collection and i didn't regret it actually i didn't regret it putting it on my wish list my husband gave it to me as a christmas present i wish i can show you the unboxing on that it was hilarious because i was actually opening the bag or the gift wraps and pretending like oh louis vuitton like that I, I thought i was just getting like an ab boots or you know i did not expect it at all so my husband was like filming it and i was like goofing around like oh it's lv bag when i opened it i was shocked because I did not expect that at all. It was so funny and memorable. I will always love this bag. This will be forever my piece. My favorite, even though I wish this is a different size, I still love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Leave the comment down below what you think. What's your favorite speedy size? Do you like the bandolier or the no strap? i know that the price increase is pretty crazy right now so hopefully you will score one i know the canvas is started to get uh, a very hard to get hold to and stay tuned for the next video it will be an unboxing for my kind of final two final two or three of my louis vuitton collection so that would be the next video we will do the limited edition unboxing and i'll see you on my next one be sure to subscribe and click that bell button bye guys see you on my next